Mm-hmm. Yesterday, but then, you know, it was kind of messy in here and tired and my wife had Christmas presents in the closet, so I couldn't unpack, so here we are. Today, I've been thinking about the language of a director and of film and how, as a director, it's our job to speak the language of the departments and the many gifted artists and crew and actors on set and so something that i'm trying to do today and over the you know coming months as i work towards becoming a feature film director is christmas gifts is being someone who understands the different departments and understands enough of what they do that I can have a legitimate conversation with them. Because I think as a director, our job is to be a communicator, a manager, a visionary, and somebody that's empathetic and, and understands what the things we're asking mean or require, right? So I don't ever wanna be a director that just says like, I hate this and I want it better. I wanna be able to say, I don't like the way the light is falling on this scene. Can we make it harsher? Can I make it more like sunlight coming through that window? Can I make it brighter, darker, more contrasted, less contrasted? Because if I'm just saying that looks bad, that's not helpful because they don't know what good is. They probably lit it in a way that they liked it. And the same goes for costumes or makeup or acting. I don't ever wanna be a director that says, that was not good <laughs> to an actor. I always wanna be someone that says, could I have a little bit more anxiousness in that? A little bit less anxious, a little more frightened or a little happier. Like give actual actionable things to my people and understand what it is that I'm asking them. And so today I have been focusing more on learning some about some of the departments that maybe I don't know the terminology as well. It started because I heard a term for, it was, it was called, called skinning the frame and I didn't know what that was. And then I watched a video of them doing this and I was like, man, that's a cool thing to know. And do I need to know it all the time since I'm not a gaffer? Absolutely not. However, it is nice that if I ever ask my DP, hey, could I get a little bit more diffusion on that? I know what it is they're setting up. I know how much time that takes. I know why it may or may not be something difficult that I am asking them to do. And I think being a director that understands that and is kind with that and being empathetic and saying, I understand what pain and frustration this is gonna cause you, but I also have a job here to do and it's to fulfill this vision or this direction. I think that's an important way to direct. Let's 
See. Actually, let me get focused real quick. Okay. Got it. It's in focus. Okay. So, well, first of all, I did that thing where I bring like way too many socks and underwear for a trip that's like four days. I was there for four and a half days. Why did I bring that much? Anyways. So, see, I didn't go to film school and I probably have talked about that a lot. I kind of have a chip on my shoulder about it, but it's fine. I didn't go to film school, so I didn't get that chance that a lot of kids have to explore different areas of filmmaking. They, you know, that's kind of where you practice a little bit of sound and you practice cinematography. You learn a lot of the terms that, you know, grip and electric use. I didn't have that opportunity because I didn't go. And so everything that I know has been through YouTube, learning it on the internet, watching videos, watching movies, watching DVD extras, and then being on set and talking to other people, asking questions, having to do something because I'm on a tiny crew or whatever. Man, that is bright. So for me, there's this constant thing of wanting to learn, wanting to know more. And that's really my goal here with the movie is that I'm learning. That's This film is my film school. It's how I'm going to learn about everything and then hopefully continue learning on every movie after that. And I'm, that's not a hopefully, I will be doing that. But with that, I wanna be learning now, not just when I get to production and learning by screwing something up. I would much rather be learning currently about terms that gaffers use, tools that grips use, how long and how much frustration goes into makeup and special effects makeup and VFX and shooting plates so that you have time to, you have the right resources when you come to VFX in post-production. All of those things are necessary. And I think being able to have that dialogue with the crew that you have just is so, so helpful. I say that as a director, your job is to have this great vision of what a movie is, right? And your department heads, their job is to be the expert in whatever it is that they do. That's their job. And so you as a director have to be a translator between these two, because these guys are speaking a totally different language than what you are. You are speaking story visual impact, visual storytelling, human condition. Like you're telling all of these things over here and these people are speaking technical, right? And so your job is to be a translator in between the two and help these guys understand this while also understanding what the hell they're saying. Because if you don't know what any of this is, then you're not able to help these people execute this and so as i'm gearing up for this feature which i will probably do most jobs myself i'm trying to learn as much about this ahead of production so that i don't get myself into a bind on production and take way longer but so that if somehow i have the money to have crew i am there to be the best possible director for them that can be I want to do my prep ahead of time, not just on the story and all of that, but also on how to help my experts be the best possible experts they can be so that ultimately I have a better product, a better movie because of it. And I can focus even more on this. And whenever there are issues, we can sort that out quick. That's what I'm working on this week and kind of just until the end of the year because you know it's winding down it's december so i don't have a ton of freelance work this month like the rest of this month i have some lined up next year already which is great but i want to take this time to finish up the screenplay which should be done in two weeks or so um but also take the time to learn 
and be intentional with this extra time that I have so that I'm a better filmmaker at the end of it. That's the whole purpose of all of this. So with that, drop your favorite YouTube filmmaker that you've learned from down below. I would love to check them out and keep learning. I will drop a few in the comments as well. And otherwise, if you're new here, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ty, I'm making a feature. That's about it. Catch you guys next time. Peace.